All right, back in Luke here. And today what I want to show you guys is uh, something a little bit interesting here. Maybe not in the uh, the best way, but uh, this is uh, my Pioneer uh, Laser Active Player. Uh, and this one usually has the cartridge slots in here where you can change them out. Uh, it has Mega Drive one and it has uh, PC Engine one. And uh, it's a really good unit um, for the most part. But uh, one thing uh, to be careful of with these units, if you guys ever decide to get one, is, um, for example, this is the, uh, the Mega Drive one. And uh, with the Mega Drive ones, uh, very similar with the PC Engine ones, what happens over time is uh, the same as with the regular units, like the PC Engine, uh, um, what is it, Duos or the uh, Game Gears, is the caps will leak. And now I took this thing apart because when I was playing a game, it started to stop. Um, it started up a little bit, and then it stopped, and then it wouldn't work some of the times. So uh, as you guys can see here, here's some of the leaking caps you can see around there. Leaking caps there. Has leaking caps all around here. All of this discolorated area is uh, not supposed to be there. And uh, it gets worse. <laughs> like, as you can see around here... There's a little bit of uh, some black residue around this. All of these caps, every single one of them has been leaking for who knows how long. But uh, all of these caps are either leaky or corroded. Now, this is the, the main board here. But uh, if we take a look at the top board, you can see the damage that's going on here. You can see the, the chip legs on the end there. Probably can't see it too well. There's that uh, black uh, surface mounted chip or uh, like DAC and that thing is all black and uh, all of these chips here um, or all of these capacitors here are all leaking as well. You can see the, the residue around there. So I counted uh, up all of these uh, surface mount capacitors and uh, there's about 80 of them. <laughs> so. Uh, in order for this thing to get back up and running, um, like it was running a little while ago, I'm going to have to replace every single one of these caps and clean up the board, as well as uh, the caps on the top here. That is not going to be fun. But I uh, figured I'd uh, show you guys this and uh, kind of give you guys a little bit of... Uh, uh, some advice here if you decide to go and pick up one of these laser active players make sure when you get one of them uh, that you change the uh, the caps in it kind of immediately or else uh, like I said you're gonna wind up with some chips that are uh, completely black like that you can see right there it's got you know it's getting really bad hopefully all these things these traces will be okay if not I'm gonna have to do some jumping of some wires here but uh, yeah, all these capacitors here you're going to have to replace. The capacitor ratings on these things look to be uh, 10 microfarad 16 volts for the smaller ones and 47 microfarad 16 volts uh, for the larger ones. And uh, I haven't gone through all of them. It looks like there's one, uh, this big one right here. This is a 100 uh, microfarad 6 volt uh, capacitor. But uh, most of the ones down here happen to be uh, 10 microfarad uh, 16 volts so yeah looks like I'm gonna be uh, having my work cut out for me here with this one this is not gonna be uh, a fun job here but uh, anyone who does have one of these um, laser active players or is thinking about getting one one key point uh, to think about is make sure you replace these caps and uh, try and do it uh, kinda quickly or soon uh, so you don't have to run into the problem of having these things all uh, leaking on you but uh, yeah, I was going to make a video here for the uh, the laser active player. I started moving around some stuff again. I thought I could uh, put this one up here and then maybe uh, another console or something on top. But uh, as I had the game going, walked out of the room and came back in and realized, oh, it's not uh, playing anymore. So turned it off and turned it on a few times and still, okay, it's not doing anything. So I decided to crack this thing open and lo and behold, it's a uh, capacitor nightmare. So... Yeah, once I get this thing back up and running again, I'll uh, I'll make another video, but I uh, thought I'd share this with you guys for right now. But yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.